Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build my all new chest bomb. Now, I love making chest bombs out of normal chests because once you see that trap chest, you kind of have to second guess is it going to be a trap or is it not going to be a trap? Is your friend just putting it there to troll with you or is he really going to blow you up? So, this one is a normal chest. Now, just giving a heads up now, this does not work on Pocket Edition because bud switches don't work on Pocket Edition. I've tried to, I'm sure there is a bud switch out there, but this one in particular does not work now this is probably the best chest bomb that i've ever made in my my entire time because i've made about three or four of these things but this one definitely takes the cake because it is the most easiest one to build and you can also have as many items as you want inside there no matter what it will always work so if i put an item inside the chest or if i take an item out of the chest it will explode so i'm gonna go ahead and put an item in first we're gonna blow up and die and then i'm gonna reload and then i'm gonna take an item out so i'm gonna go ahead and put this dirt block inside this chest and then boom it's gonna go up what's gonna and we are now dead hey look there goes the anvil <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and reload the world. And now ne next time we will take an item out. All right, guys. So this time I'm going to take an item out of the chest. So let's go ahead and go in here. And let's just go randomly and take out that item right there. So boom. And as you see, explodes explodes and we go flying into the distance so let's go ahead and look at the redstone behind this thing all right guys so let's go ahead and look at the redstone this thing is super easy to build and it's a fun little way to troll your friends and there's the redstone there is a comparator a piece of redstone and then underneath that comparator is a dispenser with a bunch of TNT down there. That is the entire thing. Now, you're probably wondering, wait, why is this comparator off if there is stuff inside the chest? And that's where the bud switch comes into place, and that's why it does not work on Pocket Edition. You can actually build this on Pocket Edition, but it'll only work when you put items in it. It won't work when you take items out of it. All right, guys, so we really don't need a definite space, and we're just going to build a chest, put a wall behind it, and set it up so it explodes. So the resources we're going to need for this build are one dispenser, one redstone comparator, one redstone, three rails, one minecart with TNT, as much TNT as you want, the more, the bigger the explosion. We're also going to need at least one to two chests and a fire charge. All right, guys, so once you have gathered up all your resources, what you want to start off by doing is, of course, place down a chest. And then we're going to come up behind the chest with our walling blocks. Now, off of any one of these blocks, it really doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and place down a comparator going that way. Before we do that, let's go ahead. We're going to use this block right here. Let's go ahead and use this block right here. So what we're going to do is right here, we're going to break out this block, take out your dispenser, make sure it's a dispenser, not a dropper, and then come over here and place your dispenser in like this. Now, the reason why I say come all the way over here to place in your dispenser, because we want our dispenser facing towards our chest see if i break this block right here as you can see there is the dispenser and it's facing inwards towards our chest next up we're going to go ahead and take out our comparator and place a comparator right on top of that dispenser by going into sneak mode coming out of this block so if i go inside my chest and place an item in comparator comes on take the item out and the comparator will go off next up we're going to go ahead and place a piece of redstone in front of that comparator then we're going to come right down here let's go and break out a few more blocks we're going to come right down here in front of this dispenser we're going to break out the block right underneath your chest the block over to the right hand side of your chest right here and we're going to place in our three rails one two and three then we're going to go ahead and take out our blocks of choice for our flooring i'm going to go ahead and break the rail right underneath our chest and place in our flooring block and then do the same thing over here you won't be able to see this one so it really doesn't matter what you do we just want our rail to look like that we want our rail to have that kind of corner look next up we're going to take out our minecart with tnt place it on top of our rail go ahead and break your rail and then just leave it like that Next up, we're going to do is go ahead and we can fill in right here just so that doesn't move like that. And we can go inside of our dispenser now and place in our fire charge. But actually, before we place in our fire charge, as you can see, this thing is working. Place an item in, comes on, take the item out, and it will go off. Now, the reason why it stays off no matter how many items we have in here. So let's go in here and just throw in a few items. We're going to just throw in. Let's just throw in all these items. We really, really don't need those items anymore. So you see the comparator is on. Now, the way we want to turn this off is we're going to go ahead and place a block right above our chest. Now, all we have to do is just update our comparator. So place a block next to your comparator. It will update it and the comparator will go off. Now, however, when we take the block away from on top of our chest, the comparator will stay off forever. It is now in a budded state. So once we put an item inside the chest or take an item out, so let's take the item out. Boop, as you can see, the comparator came on. Let's go ahead and place our block here. Let's go ahead and turn it off again. And now instead, if we put an item in, boop, it turns on. And that's how everything is working, guys. So let's go ahead and just turn this bad boy off. Boop, there we go. Now what we're going to do is set up a bunch of TNT. Now this is completely up to you. The more TNT, the bigger the explosion. So what I like to do is just dig down two right here. One, two, 
one, two, and then just place in your TNT. The more TNT you have, the bigger the explosion is going to be. So let's go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to put a lot in there. There we go. That's a, that's a pretty hefty amount of TNT. And like they said, this thing is pretty much primed and ready to go. So all we have to do now is just break right here, go inside our dispenser, make sure you have your fire charge inside your dispenser. Let's go ahead and place that in there. You can go ahead and clean it up if you want, but I'm not going to clean it up right now because it's all just going to explode and well kill me but actually i'm not i'm not gonna kill myself i'm just gonna leave it off so we're gonna go ahead and just place an item inside here Bloop. it will explode boom tnt will go off and yeah there there's the entire build guys it is that simple to build and let's go over here and do it one more time so boop instead of taking the item out we're gonna put an item in boop and it will explode again Whee! <laughs> And there you guys have it. That's how you build my simple chest bomb. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Boop. Peace.